a starting five with usual starters. Robinson White, Suggs, and Newton, the guards. Gardner, the seven-footer, DeBow, but only eight available scholarship players. Hardboard form. I asked him what he'll be doing at home. He said probably pacing a lot and trying not to drive my dogs insane. Cissé with a step underneath and moves away. So good read, good roll, and a good finish. Five-star freshman out of the country of Guinea. Tremont Robinson White. Robinson White coming on performance as a player at Memphis. And very happy with the way his team executed in the second half, saying, look, we always pride ourselves on defense leading to offense. I feel like guys, rarely do you see teams late in the NCAA tournament go 8-9-10. It's just hard to maintain that rhythm. Lomax looked like he had a wide open left. Robinson White misses a three. Lomax coming off of six assists, 12 points a season high. Had a win Thursday. He played really well. Dandridge, eight of two. Robinson White unable to answer. Got his own miss back. Robinson White again. Well, if I'm Joe Dooley watching at home, I, I have to be pleased with some of the ball movement. I think the ball's moving pretty well. They're trying to attack, throwing back. To adjust to the length, the athleticism of this Mem Memphis group, which it may take a few minutes. Dandridge found a cutting Williams at one point. He's here at 24 years old. It's a terrific piece from last week. Is Jeff timeline of DeAndre Williams and what the last five or six years have been like for that young man. And it is particularly extraordinary. Foul, by the way, was on Edward Luster, his first, not Gardner. So Luster with the first foul, ECU's third. Quinones had opened three, and Memphis has hit five out of nine from deep. I do think we'll hopefully we'll settle in and, and uh, get a little bit more confident and, and play a little better. Well, Coach, the quarter from you... Bosch is the rebound forward. Ends up in the hands of Damian Ball for Memphis. Quinones inside and stopped home. 18 to two, Tigers run. Well, ECU did a great job boxing out. They just didn't go get the basketball. Now you see that boxing out, but just didn't grab it to push it in transition. Tristan Newton scores for ECU. Williams fouled. On his way to the hole, Williams scores. Fifth leading scorer this season, one shot attempt for ECU. On the pull-up, Jeffries. That will not go, but Cissé is there with the 9-4 standing re- Memphis is plus seven on the glass right now. Boogie Ellis all the way home. Ellis wraps around Newton. No, nothing is going down for East Carolina. Offensive rebound, Suggs, he spins and finally puts ECU on the board. The shot in front of Musa Cissé. Not smart. And Musa, little cherry pick moment. Three Ooh. shots and in. This is Noah Farrakhan, the freshman point guard in Newark, New Jersey. Steps into a long one. Break a bad streak by having somebody come in and just knock down a shot. Nolly's floater. Well, he played a terrific game and didn't really score until the last bucket when they needed one to win the basketball game. Look out for Georgia Tech as to that. There are a lot of adjustments that need to take place at halftime, but ECU should feel good. They still have gotten decent looks. It's a good look for Ellis. He had a score. You have to feel for these kids who just simply want to play basketball. Williams, ball with a three. Damian Ball hits from deep, his second of the game. He had an ISO around the three-point line, foul line area, but it was well defended. They helped out and forced the ball back out. Robinson White, a deflection and a takeaway. Here's Brandon Suggs. Looked like he had cramps in the first half. Good to see him back in there. Recruited. And, and it really tells me that we've got to identify potential a little bit more. And sometimes they're just teams in this type of game situation. So you say, look, Go play with four fouls. Let, let, let me give you a chance to earn some trust. Now throwing it away ain't gonna help. <laughs> Newton elevates and scores over the top of him. Damian Ball on the drive. Wow. Good finish, Damian. Okay. We, had a, we had a phone set up at the scores table and one of my assistant coaches was on the hotline. So if something happened, I would ring him up and I would tell him something. This is before that. Now, what does that feel like as a coach? Well, it's brutal. I, can't, I got to believe for Joe, it's even more brutal because I mean, you yeah. only get a certain number of opportunities to play the game or two as a freshman with a broken foot. And when I say missed a game, like I had to watch from home. And as a player, it's torture. Mm -hmm. Continuity and, and flow of things, really. Like the emotions, like who you are as an emotional leader or vocal leader for that chip. 
60 to 33 Memphis second half that's been very choppy almost no rhythm for either team make is just finding that open guy but there's great rhythm in that offensive set and it all started with the breakdown off the bounce kick out find your open man Bomax a whirling dervish a lot of dribbling but Rudy took it away home run ball for Newt smile on his face well, you're going to be more engaged when you're having fun, and you're going to have more fun when you're having success on the matter in terms of the game. But there's just a lot of little things that are different. It's 64 40, so who cares if it matters? Cisse with three point range in the game. They are a much improved shooting team on the year. Missed it. Kind of the way it's gone for ECU tonight. Second chance, no from Subs. Third's good on Musa Cisse. The second part is, you know, who did ECU have? Sure. To go at Musa Cisse, and did you really want to go at him? And there is a difference. Jaden Hardaway, the only Memphis player who's appeared yet to score. And I think it's important that they get it. You're seeing that there is there is a lack of execution. I think part of it has to do with a lack of chemistry. Two assists in the win Thursday. It's 41 in two games, John. Oh, 19 assists versus ECU. Well, no one's really been the star tonight. It's been whoever gets the open look takes it. Nine to eight run. You know, that's coupled with the second half they had against Wichita State. So can you put these things back together, you know, and back up a, a good performance with another good performance and build upon that? That's the Aiden Hardaway, who is the last Memphis player of the 10 to score, and he'll be the last player to score in the game for Memphis. And Gardner has the final bucket for ECU. That gives him 10 points. That's significant. That's Jaden Gardner's 66th career double-figure scoring game, but not close to enough. Memphis gets the win over a shorthanded ECU team, 80 to 53.